Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doke Metal video, proudly sponsored by absolutely nobody. So this is going to be a Dokan video about how to get your 66 special summon tickets. Uh, I've seen a comment below uh, that basically some people are struggling with one or two of the final tickets. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a video. I got the idea, it was suggested to me. So I'm going to briefly cover what you need to do and we'll go from there. The very first thing that you need to do is to use two support memories. So this is fairly straightforward. You just need to go to a stage, select the stage and then select the ability to use a support memory. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, when you select a stage, you'll see in the bottom right hand corner and then you can go there and you can select a support memory and use it. You have to use it two times, uh, but this is perfectly fine. You have a base set of support memories unlocked, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Then the next step is to equip a skill orb and clear a stage. This is for one ticket. Uh, you can do this by just attaching a skill orb shown here on the screen and clearing a single stage with that unit. The next one is to clear the Miracle of Universe stage 10 times. This is for two tickets. Uh, you can clear any stage of this to complete this, but you should probably do it while farming for the free to play units uh, as that's going to double up on your time spent. The next one is for using 600 stamina and drops nine tickets. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. Just do events and use stamina. Uh, 600 stamina is roughly uh, 30 hours of stamina refills, uh, which isn't that bad considering how quickly you can spend stamina in this game. So it's really not too much of an issue for you. And it should be quite straightforward. You can also spend a lot of it by doing events like the B-Pan event, the growth mission for B-Pan, Pan Secret Adventure. These type of things use like 100 stamina at a time. So if you're struggling to somehow spend your stamina as a new player, you can focus on doing that. The next one is to raise the SA level of a unit to level 7. This can be done easily with the free to play Master Roshi, the free to play Roshi and TN, and this will gather you a total of 4 tickets. So pretty straightforward. Android 18 and Krillin will also count, but any free to play unit from any event will count. Just raise their SA to level 7 and you've basically secured yourself some more. Next one is to use 100 film. Uh, so just be careful with this one, it's for one ticket. Uh, if you are doing the support memories, you should get this one because you have to basically spend 140 support memories by using two of them. But just make sure that you've done this one if you haven't done the support memories one. It's for one ticket. The next is the Z-Awaken 5 units. This is fairly straightforward. Uh, just simply go to any unit that is a SSR. Click on it and then basically level it up to level 80 and then awaken it using this to a UR state. You need to do that on 5 units, so make sure that you do it on 5 of them. If you're doing the free to play units, you shouldn't have a problem, that will be 3 of them done already. Just be careful because SR cards that are awakened to SSR do not count. Then the next one is acquire a skill orb for 1 ticket. This can be achieved by coming to the Margin Boo shape up event. And simply finishing that stage, you will get multiple skill orbs, so it's nothing too crazy. Again, the next one is to equip three skill orbs. So just go to any unit and equip a bronze, silver, and gold slot. Or go to three units and equip only bronze slots. However you want to do it, it's for two tickets. So just go and equip those three orbs. You don't even have to take them into a stage. You just need to equip three skill orbs. The next one is to exchange treasure. Bubba's points do not count, it is only things that are under the treasure tab that you see me click now. And you can exchange anything here, but the easiest thing to exchange is the anniversary coins. And that will also be for one ticket. So there we go. That's pretty much the easiest way. I need some Weezes, so I'm just going to quickly gather those. But just exchange any amount of treasure for anything and you should get this single ticket. And then finally, uh, what we're going to do next is just go to the Master Roshi stage and complete that 10 times. So that's going to count for two tickets. Uh, remember, if you're only doing all these missions now, that they will count for part one, two, and three. So just keep that in mind. It's basically going to save you a lot of time. But complete it 10 times and you will get two tickets. That brings our total for part one to 26 tickets. Uh, which is a fair amount of course, but now we need to dive into part two. So part two, 
uh, is also pretty straightforward. The first is to do 6,666 Zenny. This can be easily achieved on the World Tournament stage for Hercule. Uh, you don't need to pick up that exact amount, just that amount or more, and that's for a single ticket. The next one is also a stamina one, 600 stamina again, and it's for 8 tickets. Remember you can do this by doing pretty much any event, so the stamina ones are fairly straightforward and should be completed pretty much while you're doing everything else. So don't focus on spending stamina, just focus on all the rest and you'll definitely finish the stamina related ones. The next one is to use a support memory again. If you're looking for new support memories, you can get them from the Miracle of Universe 7 stage, from stage 1 and stage 7, but you need to unlock one of those and then use them, basically, if you want to get this one. The next is complete a stage without a continue for one ticket five times, and clear the Miracle of Universe 7 stages five times for one ticket as well. After that, it's pretty straightforward. It's just go to the unit screen and then we need to use five training locations. You cannot use the first location. You have to use one of any of the others and you can use it on, you know, five different units. You can use it on your own unit. Just depends on how you feel. But yeah, the next, well, that one is to do five training locations, which is pretty straightforward. If you're Dokkan Awakening or Z Awakening or anything like that, you will definitely use the training locations to reduce the amount of training items. The next one is to complete a stage 15 times. This can be done with any stages and will be done while you're doing the other missions. And then the next one is to win an easy A. Now it doesn't specify any easy A, so you can just simply win the first stage of any Extreme Z battle. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, some of the easier ones will be highlighted like the Perfect Cell one, uh, this Fierce Battle one, uh, the Kamehameha Trio one, uh, the Panic Namek Saga one, but pretty much you can do the first stage of any of them with your strongest team. Uh, so hopefully that will be, uh, you know, easy for you, but just select one and try and do it and just win a single stage. Pretty straightforward. That's for one ticket. Then you need to Dokkan Awaken two characters. Uh, this is when you basically use Dokkan medals to awaken a character. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward if you're struggling. Obviously, the free-to-play units count, uh, and you can get their events from, well, their medals from the event. You'll look here at the top, and anywhere where it says Dokkan Awaken is Dokkan Awakening a unit. So do that twice, and then you've basically done it. That is for two tickets. Yeah, pretty straightforward, really. And then the final mission is to use a support memory. I mean, sorry, a support item in clearing a stage. This is fairly straightforward uh, you just need to basically click on a stage and then complete it while using a support item uh, to use a support item during a stage you have to click the item and activate it uh, which sometimes people don't realize the best items to use for this are the orb changing items because you can use them even when at full health or anything just change a couple orbs and then finish the rest of the stage and you'll be good to go so nothing too crazy there. And that in total drops 18 tickets, which brings our total all the way up to 44. So the only part left is part three. In part three, we have to use 600 stamina again for a total of seven tickets. So while you're doing part one, while you're doing part two, you should be able to do the stamina for part three. So do not worry about stamina. Like I said, you just focus on everything else pretty much you then need to complete a stage seven times this is pretty straightforward and drops four tickets you then need to complete a stage with only supers five times for one ticket complete a stage in under two minutes five times for one ticket complete a stage without using support items five times for one ticket complete a stage in one turn for one ticket and complete a stage without receiving damage five times for one ticket all of these are fairly simple. Most of them can be done at the same time. The easiest stages to complete these on are things like Pan's Secret Adventure, where she doesn't attack back, Margin Buu's uh, training, the equipment missions, Hercules World Tournament. The growth missions are going to be your easiest source of this, the daily growth missions, because a lot of the times they only do one attack or they don't attack back. They're super easy. They're only one fight. Uh, they can be done by new players. So these are going to be a big source. Just basically click through them as fast as possible and complete them as quickly as possible. Uh, and that will net you 16 more tickets. Otherwise, use the Miracle of Universe 7 event or the Master Roshi event. 
That will give you in total 60 tickets, and then you only need these 6 from login for the total of 66. I hope this video helps you guys out, and let me know down in the comments if you're still struggling to find your tickets. But until next video, cheers and bye!